Whatever that you do that makes you great, you must continue doing it. I realize the deception in the body of Christ is this. Forget our fathers. Do you know why you are still feeling God? You are still encountering God? Because our fathers, our fathers, I love them. They have something to give us. But they have something to give us as a heritage, not to take us further. Only hungry men can take you further. Our fathers, they will give you a position. They will bring you to rest. You don't rest in this kingdom. You advance. God is always moving. The day that David said, let him rest. That day he beheld a woman. Vacation in this journey is dangerous. You will not know what will happen to you the day you reduce your level and intensity of prayer. You see those people you are seeing around that look like vagabonds. You will join them. You will be worse. You see the way I'm sweating? Whether I'm in the mountain, I sweat. Whether I'm in my room, I sweat. Anywhere I go to, I sweat. If I pray, I sweat. I don't know. I have stopped using suit because I sweat too much. I must pray. Prayer is what brought me to this level. Why will I stop it? Why? Why will I stop it? Jesus Christ prayed to the point of dying. He's still praying. James, pray to die. Stephen, pray to die. Paul, pray to die. Why they were killing him? He didn't pray for his life. He said, Father, forgive them. The same thing, Jesus. You will pray and continue to pray. And it will not kill you. That's a funny thing. I realize that many people that end up becoming nothing are those that stop praying. They started well with God. They now stop praying. Many of us that were praying together from campus to where we were together with all the great men. There are some of the great men too that stop praying. Today, they look at me and say, But these were people that were praying for us. Overtaking is allowed. It's not about how long we have been. How much can you survive? How much can you contact God? How much of God can you carry? How much? Impactations are good. I will pray for you. Even in the evening, I will. We will do that. But please, when you receive these things, go and grow them. I learned there are not too many mountains here. I don't know how you do it. Look for a place to hide. Our fathers have deceived us. They seek God in bush, in caves. Today they give us AC, nice horn, nice sounds. You know, everything nice, nice. They know we won't find God like that. They know. They just know. That's why we sleep too much. I know a place that you go and pray. You can't sleep even if you want to sleep. Mosquitoes can't allow you to sleep. When you try to sleep, stone is not too sweet to sleep. There is something that is against your life. Anytime you discover prayer is hard for you, something is against you. I'm telling you. Don't you think it's a challenge? How can you watch a movie for 10 hours and you won't sleep? And you come for meeting for just 3 hours and you are tired. And if we even allow you to go and rest, as you go by, you will start watching a movie and you will still watch for extra 10 hours, you will be tired. Anytime you want to do God, a spirit comes to stop you. These are the things that they will do to buy out. Small hunger call and you sell your bedtime. Can you pray in one minute? I said we should leave the prayer to evening. You said I should still pray for you now. I don't know. Can we pray in one minute? Say, oh God, let me not be with. I told you, you don't need too many. Check every state. You can count the people that are relevant. Forget about people that are making noise, all those noise makers. Forget about them. I mean, people that have substance and texture, people that know God, not English language. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. People that truly carry God. Check, you won't see many of them. Travel to maybe you will never see them. That's why God, that's how God will surprise people in the body of Christ. He will bring men from the backside. Men that doesn't look like them. These are the ones that He will ordain them kings. 
people will say, No, they are not qualified. No, they are not qualified. Who guide them? Which church are you under? Who is a man of God? Who father are you? Who all oh, those things are rubbish? Who ordain people are apostles? Who ordain graces? Is he a man? Who do men ordain? Men ordain reverence and deacons and bishops. God give graces to men. Graces. God is the one that check. Are you qualified? He gave to some this, some that, some this. It is left for men to decide who you will be. They will never agree. I'm telling you, they won't agree. So God has to reach out by the privilege of grace to select. Paul, they say he's not qualified. The apostolic code says he's not qualified. It took them time. Say, Kai, this guy, this guy, he has been with Jesus. We may not even understand what he's doing, but Kai, we cannot deny. That's how your life will be. If you fight Salman on campus that time, drag him out, do all kinds of things today. Eh, Salman is this, Salman is that. This is how the world works. They will fight you, but they will join you later. If you are distracted because they fight you, because you don't have an idea of where you are going to. Don't stop. I don't get intimidated. I don't compete. You can become better. When you look at men, be inspired. Become better. Take no I tell all of them look alike, but all of them are selling. There are different cars, all of them are selling. Graces are different, they are diverse. No matter how anointed a man is, there are audiences you cannot be able to reach. You are still relevant. There are places you go to, nobody knows where they put there, but they know you. There are places you go to, nobody knows Asai, nobody knows Salma, nobody knows me, they know you. There are places we can never be able to reach. You can reach there. Nobody is stopping you from becoming anything. Forget all those competitions. All these people that you see them, the noise makers, forget about them. Build, build, build. They will begin to desire your hands. They will. And if you build so well, the time is going to come. That anointed of Jehu and Bezali, you can begin to judge them. So you begin to silence their meetings in the spirit. They will not even know. That's how it works. When you compete with men, they become your standard. I get what I'm saying. But when you focus and look unto God, you become a standard. Look unto men and be inspired. Be challenged. Don't have business insulting them, criticizing them, talking, forget those things. Everyone is unique in his own kind. Everyone. There is something in you that I don't have. There is something in you I don't have. There is something in you I don't have. There is always something. If not, God will create all of us. You can be a better version of anything. Please. I want you to be challenged and to be inspired. Be challenged and be inspired. See, even if we stay here from now to now and we continue from now to tomorrow, you will not die. Sometimes we'll go for a meeting, we'll take away the clock. You have been busy every day, every day. One day for the Lord is a challenge. See, that's the problem. That's why we don't carry God. Moses remained with the Lord for 40 days, not three hours. If we lock ourselves here for 40 days, we will encounter the Lord. If we continue in that atmosphere for long, eh, the thing will continue to breathe more. So please. I counsel you as friends. If only you can become great, millions are saved. If only you can become great, millions are saved. If only you can become great, millions are saved. Forget about the other people. Let's be sure of you. You too, forget about the other people. Let's be sure of you. This journey, this race is individual. You see, when you are strengthened, first, you cannot strengthen your brethren. That's why anytime Jesus is mentioning the apostle, you call Peter, 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 because you know he can't help everybody there. Say Peter, 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 because you know if he can get Peter, he can get all. If the devil can get Peter, he has gotten all too. I get what I'm saying now. Imagine if the devil pulled me down, put certain great men down. Many people will pass by by default. So please, if you stand strong, many others will stand strong. Many others. So can we pray in one minute and say, Father, let me be relevant. Let me be relevant. Let me be relevant. Let me be relevant. 
Let me be relevant. Let me be relevant. As you have moved in the spirit, help me to move on the earth to align with your own. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord Jesus. So I'm asking for everybody who was a letter of you. Yeah. So I'll just join faith together with you, but we'll do the more prayer in the evening. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask, as I join faith together with you and pray with you, even if you don't have a plan to be God great, it's a lie. The needs among you must be enlisted in the army of the Lord. We need new prophetic voices. We need new apostolic voices. We need new psalmists. We need new voices. We just need new. Plenty. More than the ones we have had now. In the name of Jesus. I join faith together with you. Carry the grace of the Lord. 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 I preach the Spirit of the Lord upon you. I release the glory of the Lord upon you. I release the glory of the Lord upon you. May you be a carrier of the presence and the power of the Lord. May you be a bridge in between light and darkness. May you be an express image of the personality of the truth. May you be the servant of the beauty of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may you continually born for the Lord. May your longing and your passion for the Lord not grow cold. May the ointment upon your head last you to the end. And may the plans of the devil over your life fail. The Lord God of heaven move you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I join faith together with you. I ask that from today may you be moved. May the hand of the Lord rest mightily upon you. May the Lord God of heaven breathe upon you. I include you among the council of the apostolic and the prophetic. From today, may you continually born with the Lord. May the same spirit that walk with us walk with you. May the same apostolic spirit, the same prophetic spirit that keep us keep you. From today, may the same encounter that makes us become great makes you become great. The things that push us to the secret place may it push you to the secret place. The things that make us to dig deeper into God may it rest upon you. May you carry the glory and the power of the Lord. May you speak for the counsel of the Lord. May the Lord God of heaven grant unto you utterance. May the Lord God of heaven grant unto you utterance. May you lay hold of the unction of the Lord. May you continually born for the Lord. From today I join my faith together with you. I ask that the Lord has helped me, let me help you. May the God of heaven that helped men help you. The secret is nothing. How God picked a selected few and he helped them. Say, Abel, I love Cain, I hate, I don't know how. But I know that the Lord can love him now. As you have loved me, Lord, love him. Far beyond power, far beyond the anointing, far beyond the glory, far beyond the presence. Give him yourself. A man that carry the Lord, carry everything that constitutes the Lord. May you be a carrier of the Lord. You will not be wasted in time. You will not be hindered. You will not be deterred. Join faith together with you. I say be relevant. Be relevant. Be relevant. I move you into a new dimension in the spirit. I ask, O oh God, and may the spirit of the Lord God of heaven guide you. In the name of Jesus, you may be small, you may be little, but you carry the Holy Spirit. You carry the Holy Spirit. Go and be agent of revival. Go and become agent of change. Go and become missionaries of change. 
go and become missionaries of change. Thou shalt be constituted a mother in Israel. Thou shalt be constituted a mother in Israel. And today I anoint your hands, I anoint your feet, I anoint you with fresh oil. May the hand of the Lord continually remain upon you. The Lord is looking for a woman to use. May you be available. I pray upon you that from today may you carry the glory and the presence and the power of the Lord. May you move as an envoy of the Spirit. I join my feet together with your faith and I move you. I shift you into greater planes in the Spirit. May your hunger and your passion may the Lord satisfy. I ask that from today let things change for you tremendously. May your perception and your intuition be sharpened again. I bless you with the blessings of heaven. You are not too small to burn for the Lord. May the Lord God of heaven guide you and see you through. I decree the excellency of the Lord upon you. May the God of heaven guide you. You will not be wasted in time. You will not be wasted in time. The Lord God of heaven bless you and keep you. The Lord strengthen you. The Lord fine you. I pray for you. May the hand of the Lord that keep men keep you. I ask that may you be enlisted among the army that will be irrelevant within the land and beyond. From today, let the fire and the power of the Lord continually burn upon you. Let God not be here looking for a man to use and you are not available. No. Let the vacancy in the spirit within this region be occupied by you. God can walk with you as men of faith. As men of the spirit. May the Lord grant unto each and every one of you diverse dimensions. As required in the body of Christ for you to thrive. I pray for you. May the spirit and the power of the Lord rest upon you. Carry the glory and the grace of the Lord. Continually be a witness of the Lord. There are three types of moves. And you must be conversant with this. The dealings of God upon the face of the earth actually works according to a movement. The grace of the Lord that God supply is at different dimension and different layers dispensationally. What I mean by that is this. The grace that God supplied upon in the time of people like Kennedy or a robot is not as much as he supplied in the time of people like the best leader also. The grace the Lord can supply during the time of people like them Joseph Sleeman, then Iadeboe, Oedipo, is more than the former and the grace the Lord supply to ensure that men like Joshua Salma Aaron Osai and quite a lot of them rise was more the grace the Lord supplied to ensure that some, some of us some of the men you see today on the landline rise was more the same thing that the grace that will be needed to be supplied to ensure that the younger generation become relevant must have to be more. Why? It's simply because oftentimes darkness excels itself. Gross darkness increase. And as darkness increase light also upgrade Paul speaking I am what I am by the grace of God that grace was not in vain in that I labor more than they all the grace that Jesus Christ supplied was made available for them in those times that made the apostles that were current with Jesus as of that time was not as much the grace that was supplied available for Paul for a Gentile to be converted So when the Gentile get converted and utilize the grace more abundantly than the ones that were available, suddenly he come into love life. 
what I'm trying to let you understand is this the glory of the latter house is always supposed to supersede that of the former what you are seeing to happen today is supposed to be better than what has happened before let's not be desiring the days of Kachin Kuma let's forget about the days of Elijah let's forget about the days of Oedipo let's forget about the days forget about the grace upon Salman forget about the grace upon Arabe forget about the grace upon my life what God will have to do with you will be times five of what he is doing with me the simple reason is because the best many of them can be is what we have seen is there more where will the more come from from you I need you to understand that a generation has come neglecting what is available for them and they are looking upon old wine when the Lord intends to pour new wine even we for us to continually advance we do threshing floor we trade business in deeper waters I seek the Lord as the way we are seeking the Lord more because I know until I'm current with God I can't be aligned and if I'm not aligned I will be like the reverence and the pastors in your church I will fight the current move of God every season God releases a grace if it must be relevant it must align to that grace if you hold on to what God has done before you may never see what God is doing now so there is what I call the former grace or the former move of God it may be glorious amazing nice it better those people when you read the stories of God's generous some of them didn't end up well as good as that grace was supplied as good as that move I don't desire it it inspired me it challenged me but it ended badly some of them men like William J. Simmons, some of them ended up without even a member Alexander Dewey ended up a whole city bond many of them died frustrated that's not the move we want what I need you to understand is this those times have come and go we are inspired we are challenged and that's what we call the former measure is the old one that's what I call the former move I must stand the enemy of the current move or the new move will be the former move sometimes we get too used to what the Lord has done and we forget what God is doing right now that's the challenge of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They forget that God has moved before. Yes, those patterns, those doctrines is God that gave it to them. We understand. But God that still said, kill your son, is the God that said, don't kill him. You had kill your son. Now he came and said, don't kill him. God must have given you a pattern before. Now he is releasing another. God was the one that brought the law. But now he brought grace. You must understand that what God has done before is good but what is he doing right now until you know what God is doing right now you will not be relevant and you will hold yourself to what he has done before you too will become a religious person so there is the former move which is what we have seen but the younger generation God has moved them again that is the reason why even with the former move with all the thousands of churches and the millions of churches God did not stop there. He still reached out to us. Still encountering men. I always tell you, in the days of Babalola, in the days of these men, some of these people that are on land like today never even dream they can become anything. If you look at me today and you are intimidated, that when will I become like this? You are not wise. You are looking at the former move. You are looking at what God has done. What God has done with me is not what he's doing today. He has done it before. What he's going to do with you has never been seen. So what God will do with you is what I will envy. Jesus Christ stood. They say, are you better than Abraham? He said, no. Even Abraham desired to see my day. A time is going to come. Our fathers will desire how they wish. They can see our day. And that's why the best thing our fathers will do is to partner with us. Eli, his eyes are dim. Now God wants to work with somewhere. Somewhere may not be qualified. But God wants to begin another move. That is how this thing works. 
Moses was a god. But in the day and time when God wanted to reveal a new thing, he said, This your God must go. Moses, come and die. Let me reveal another in the scene. Jesus Christ came and he was about to go. He said, Except I go, he will not come. It is a spirit that I go. They don't want him to go. He said, I will die. Peter said, Don't die. Don't die. He said, You are looking at the former move. There is another new move coming. Say the new move will come and until you align to that move you may never become anything it was not long enough he left while he left all of them proceeded they went out fishing if you hold on to a man of god the day the man of god die the church will come we must let to drop into the pool you see at the setting season an angel come and stir up the waters it didn't matter what has happened you are waiting now the lord of the sabbath has come now is the current move i don't know the angel has not come now i am he that sent the angel jump into the pool there are times when the lord does a thing that is current he break every protocol when the lord break every protocol is because he want to do something that is current and hold yourself to the former move look out for the new move he said oh jerusalem jerusalem how are you how can you not discern the times of the coming of the messiah you may say oh sana but at the wrong time now is the time to hail Hosanna. Many we are casting their crowns, or that they were casting their garment. You look as if is this. Many we are saying crucify him. But that was the Messiah that you have been waiting for. You have waited so long. You have read scrolls again and again that not towards a child is born, towards a sword is given. But yet you cannot discern. We have spoke about revival. Our churches have preached about it, fasted about it, did 40 days dry fasting about it. Yet when the revival come, they could not discern it. The time is going to come. Our fathers are going to envy us. They should not fight us. They should embrace us. Fathers are fathers. We don't fight them. They lay the foundation where we will rise. Where the may not as may not have many revelations like you, but he laid the foundation. That's how it works. We know that the generation that will come will do better than us. They will do. If you don't do better than us, we are failed. We are failed. Jesus Christ said, "You shall do better than me." You will come upon my shoulders and do better. You will do more. Now the totality of the Godhead dwell in you. The totality of the Godhead. You have God the Father, God the Son, you have God the Holy Spirit with you. They have never left you any time. The same thing that God did to Jesus is what he did to you. The same Holy Spirit. The same everything. The same everything. We are in the present move. The present move is given unto the sons of light. The present move is given unto the youth. God is moving with the youth. Now is the time where a new priest, a new army will rise. The eyes of Eli is dim. God is reaching out from the younger generation. The prophecy of Joel is fulfilled. That on the last day, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Sons and daughters shall prophesy. Old men will begin to dream dreams. Young men will begin to see visions. Now is the time. An army rise. Now is the time when God is looking for the David to use. The David to use. The David to use. God has neglected many saw. Many kings have lost their crown. There is vacancy. There is vacancy because there is dethronement. We may be small, but yet we carry the Holy Ghost. We carry the Holy Ghost. We carry the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is my advantage. I may be strong. I may be small. But I carry the spirit of the Lord. I refuse to die like a chicken. I will roar as an army. I will roar. I will roar. I will rise. There is another move coming. There is another move coming. Another army are rising. They will never have seen the light of them. They have never seen the light of them. They have never. The devil can never discern them. He doesn't know them. They are archives. Their files have not yet been uploaded. Google don't know them. Google don't know them. You are wondering where are they coming from? They are coming from the secret place of the Most High. Because they have abided under the shadow of the Almighty. They are not qualified. Because they are not being seen. They are like David. They are in the cave of Adullam. They have been in the mountain for so long. Many have been prepared for the crown. But the Lord has rejected them. They have prepared themselves. The Lord has rejected them. Because the Lord is coming with a new move. You see an oil. The oil is in the horn. 
it will be poor upon the selected few that will bear relevance in the day and time every generation have wasted men but there are men that are relevant there are not too many of them in the city there are not too many of them in the state they can only be one they can only be two but they can turn the whole city upside down don't go for number go for strength build capacity when you build capacity you'll be an army you will be an army you alone can chase ten thousand i have lifted up my eyes to yahweh elohim i will not bow down to the king of sodom i will not bow down may jesus remain my priest yahweh elohim become my god i am feeling himself as i belong to the lord i belong to no man i belong to the lord i belong to the lord i move as the lord move it i move as the lord move it i am what i am by the grace of god that grace was not in vain in that i labor i labor i labor i labor hey! Lastly, apart from the former move, the new move, my friends, I bring you good news. I bring you good news. What is the good news? There is a new move. We may do in the present move right now, but there is a new move. Hey, in the days of the persecution of Job, all the wise men came. They began to decipher wisdom. They say, Oh Job, you have seen. But there was one among them, his name was Elihu. He was in the new move. He was in the new move. He may not be qualified. He said, Why you were talking? I told ancient gray hair should speak wisdom but there is the spirit in the man and the inspiration of the almighty give him understanding while you were talking the spirit of the lord constrained me my mouth was filled with new wine the lord moved me hey. wise men have to listen to a boy wise men have to listen to a child in the day when jesus christ was revealed he may be 12 years old but doctors of the laws cannot answer a question. When the new move come, even you in the present move cannot understand. Hey, when God is moving, we don't try to understand. We are lying. We are lying. We are lying. The Bible says, "By faith we understand, not by understanding we have faith. You just understand by faith by alignment." sky I don't need too many people. I need one strong man. One man in a bar. One man in a bar. If you can become a most holy voice. If you can become genuine. There are not too many Aaron Osai. There are not too many Joshua Salman. There are not too many children Sunday. There are not too many Michael Rocco. There are not too many Lord Sawyer. There are not too many Philip Sephas. There can be one of you. One of you. Enough answer to a generation. There are not too many Katukuma. Forget about her. What about you? You are in the new move. We are in the new move. Somebody mount the drum for me. Somebody mount the drum. Now is the time to bleed. Now is the time to cry. Father, enlist me in the new move. Enlist me in the new move. Somebody clap the drum, 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 drum. That drum, that drum, I need somebody there. Mess up at the Tuske. Shabana Taske, Bala Deske, Yaska. Shabana Taske, Bala Deske. There cannot be too many of you. You are a high point. The Lord told me, Philip Sebas, I will make you a high point. A high point. A complication of graces. Multiplication of graces. You can carry the grace of many people. You can turn into a tribe in the spirit. Partake of many graces. If you can.
Rabadan Eskebet Yoske. 